Hello guys, this is Kixpix and as promised I told you I'm gonna open uh, my lock package in the next video and this two packages just arrived from Scotland and I opened this package in the last video but I didn't check what was inside until now I haven't checked what's inside because I want to do it on camera. So I want to thank Mylock again for sending me those. I won his giveaway. And actually I wasn't, I was very patient because I, I uh, it was hard for me not to open the package and see what's inside because I'm so excited to see what's inside. And yet I forgot to bring my knife again. <laughs> Trying to be very careful. Yes, because of what's inside. Okay, this has to do with the customs. So there is a note from Mylock. And as it says, Hi Kixpix, congrats on winning my 100 sub celebration. Thank you, my luck. I'm so lucky and I'm so happy that I won it. As you are more advanced picker, I decided to include one of the Dom Roto locks. This is amazing news because I actually uh, I wanted the Dom lock. I always see it in videos, but I never had it. I recently pick, picked up um as you are more advanced speaker i decided to include one of the dom rotor locks i recently picked up i've not picked or got this one so the honor is all yours all the best miles over this is amazing um this sh shows you how generous he is because this is a new lock he didn't even pick or got and he decided to send it to me. This shows how my lock is an amazing person. The chambers of the lock cheers. Thanks my lock. Thank very much. This is a note. Actually I'm going to save this. And first package, what was in it? An Abus. An Abus T84MB40. Uh, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I love locks so much, but I'm not good with which model is what. So all this stuff is new. By the way, my, my lock have his uh, videos most of those locks and he have a video I'm gonna be putting in the description he's talking about the locks but for me I don't I don't want to um, burn the surprise so I want to experience everything and if I had some tough luck I would open his videos and check what he is talking about I want everything to be mysterious for me I should have prepared the video by uh, knowing the locks, knowing the names, just to look as a smart person. But I prefer to uh, just uh, check it for the first time without understanding what's happening. Can you imagine the amount of locks here?
Mm, Squire. I always see this in other people's videos. Most of those brands I hear about, I don't have. The Abus is very rare where I live. The Yale, we have a lot of Yales here. Usually the European products are more. I want to fix the focus. Fix the focus. Okay, we have a Yale. A Gigi. Eva. Eva is pretty, pretty difficult lock. Let's see if it has spools. Yes, definitely it has spools inside. And I don't know what lock is this. I have to check his video for the name. Drapper. Look at this beautiful lock. My hands, my hands is so big, so you can imagine how how big, how small this lock compared to my big hands. This is why I make big picks. So you have one, two, three. Four uh, Euro cylind cylinders, two small padlocks, uh, uh, pin tumblers, and one Bradley. Thirty-eight millimeter shackle. This looks cool. Ah, okay, the Bradley. I know this type of lock. Look at the bidding here. I have pretty nasty bidding here. Avis. This is pretty cool. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun. Bradley, I think uh, Bradley is. Abus boat. They bought every good luck company in the world, so yeah. And I think this is the dom that my luck was talking about. Ooh. Look at this. Look at this magnificent lock. By the way, Dom is a German uh, German company and they make awesome, awesome locks. I'm not sure that this one comes with a key or not, but I'd be happy to pick this one. I love Dawn. Your key, dumb. security, master key system, and this is your key, and this I think is, I think they're French, German, and English. Oof. There's still more. Ah, this I've seen on his channel when he was stacking the th things. He said, use shim. And he said he's going to put a shim for me not to forget. By the way, I never used a shim in my life. So I think I'm going to be starting using a shim on this lock. Guys, I'm, 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 I don't know what to tell you. I have a lot of locks. I'm so happy with, with this giveaway. I don't know from where I can start. Here is a cylinder set, brass, also a Euro cylinder. 
and the keys is made out of brass. I think this is an English block because I've seen it in all English channels. With the squire also, I think it's English because they're, they're still using the uh, lever locks. And they put this for anti-drill metal plate. I think it's a hardened metal plate. I forgot what, what is the name of this brand, but it's very famous. It have this heart, I think, with a snake or I can't see from the camera. Pretty awesome lock. I forgot the name of this lock. It's a British uh, standard, I think. Kind of lock. Okay, look what the customs. I'm sure that my lock packed the lock in the locks inside. He wrapped it well, and then the customs. This is what 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 we have here. They rape your things just to check there is no drugs or there is no ex explosive or is no anything dangerous coming here. I'm gonna repack everything after I finish looking at them. By the way, all those locks, by, just by holding them, I can say I can say they are really good quality. From the tight QA. And from the bidding, the spring, one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like uh, the key pins that I saw are standard turn now maybe some will be having some uh, this I think this one is serrated I'm not sure thank you my lock I think I'm gonna be busy with those locks for a long time Ooh, this is the note he told me about the brushes are handy for cleaning the chambers of uh, all locks. When I read it, I didn't understand it. Now I do. Thank you, my lock. Those are awesome. I'm gonna give one uh, to my dad because he smokes the, you know, the Icos. Uh, I know he's old and he's still smoking, so I made a brush for him. So maybe I can take one of those brushes and make a wood handle for it. And I'm gonna give it to him as a gift to clean his uh, Icos cigarettes, electronic, whatever this thing is uh, they're making and smoking these days. Look, it's in, in its package. Euro profile cinder lock. Uh, okay, this is not English. Ivryon Kenny Prochiv. Oh my god. Okay, I suck in Russian. Okay. But I can read Russian, but I suck. And he sent me the shim. Ah, I found it. <laughs> As promised. As promised. Okay. Actually, I, 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 I never used any shims because I never bought any shims and I just lost it <laughs> okay so you know this goes here okay I think this is everything which is more than I could ever wish for I hope the screen can capture everything let's put the boxes aside so I can pack everything later I'm not the kind of guy who keeps his uh, locks in box in boxes. I keep I love I like to put them in uh, big, uh, depending on the security level, on different uh, 
boxes for me when I need them. They just like this and they are sealed so no dust can come inside. And how I usually clean my locks, I got them, put everything around uh, separately, then I put them in acetone for around uh, like four to three to four minutes. Then I get them out, I dry them with air because acetone will fry, fly right away when they are in the acetone. I keep shaking, everything is clean as if it came out of the factory. Then you can add lubrication because they're going to be very dry, depending on what kind of uh, loop um, where you live. I can recommend some for you. Uh, and you have a new lock. This is how I clean my used locks. So what? What should we start with? I changed the, the camera setting on the different tripod, so I'll be able to uh, try to pick something. So I was thinking the best thing we can try is this Abus Inox, Inox, Abus Inox. T84 M840. This lock so looks so beautiful. You can see the brass uh, and the and the black. It looks like gold. I really like how this lock looks. And if you guys see here the keyway, it's a bit challenging. I'm not sure the lock. I um. I can pick it for the first time on camera or not, but I'm gonna try. But if you can see the the keyway, you can see this is my my thumbnail. Let me try to set the the tripod in nice way so you guys can see. This is how small it is. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna fit any uh, any pick inside, especially that I'll be using bottom of the key tension wrench. And as you as you guys can see, I'm not sure what pick will fit here. Let's check quickly. Okay, I find one. I found one. I think I'm gonna be using the kicks, but not this one, the one from the Essential uh, Collection. I'm gonna try, let's try. Okay, there's a spool on one, there's a counter rotation, I felt it. and. It is very hard to get the pick under the pins. Uh, I need to close the AC. I am sure the, the volume will be very noisy in the video. So let's reset this. Just trying to get the pick under the pins. It's very tight. The best way to do it is to go all by sideway. Ah, 
I set it, but I dropped something else. Okay. I was off, off camera. I have one more pin to set. If I could get under it. So I'm gonna release the tension, get under the pin. Okay, one last pin. I'm in a deep full set now. And I have only one pin to pick. And it is the last pin in the back. And here we go. What was difficult in this lock is uh, imagine that I'm, I'm okay. Let me show you. I want you guys to see what's happening here. So. Is this as you guys can see? I'm trying to go in this space with this pick. So it's easy to set the first pin, but when you go to the last one, you have to avoid oversetting everything and you just go in a narrow way it's very nice lock very nice lock thank you my lock and this is the first one i just tried so hopefully i'll be trying to pick something else in the next videos and hopefully you'll be able to see me making videos on all of my lock locks soon so stay tuned for the uh, giveaway draw and thank you guys very much for watching and see you guys around